Around 10 years uh, or so ago, um, after my mother-in-law passed away, I went through her garage uh, looking for see if there was any interesting tools or equipment in there because uh, the both of them had quite a lot of tools and stuff like that there because they used to renovate old cars. Now I'm not sure whether this hammer was one of theirs or not or whether it was the belonged to the previous owner house but uh, I found it and as you can see the handle is not uh, in great shapes but I thought to myself well the head looks in good condition as you can probably see we'll have a look at this closer up later on but the head looks in good condition and I'm pretty damn sure that I can replace the handle at some point so anyway 10 years down the line here we are this so-called handle on here is just uh, quite ridiculous to be honest with you and I don't know how anyone was uh, using this because to be honest it's quite dangerous um, I'm not sure whether this is a nail in here or a proper little wedge but there's something in there we'll find out later on um, it is quite loose I don't know if we can actually pull it out by hand or whether I'm gonna have to drive it out but let's give it a go uh, oh there we go yeah so this is the uh, the state of the handle guys I don't think um, anybody would like to see uh, this going on uh, inside the uh, hammer head because it's just not safe as we've seen I could uh, easily pull it off by hand I'm not sure whether, whether that's an old nail or a proper wedge just there um, I'll probably try and get that out later on but it's a pretty shocking uh, state isn't it so the head is uh, not too bad condition by the looks of it um, there are a few little dinks in it as you can see um, the faces don't look too bad basically all around it looks okay we've got some uh, writing on here I think it says here um, uh, let's say cast steel or something uh, there's some bit of writing here I don't know what that is yet over this side we have uh, a diamond with an S in it and something just here which might be the weight actually um, it feels horrible it sort of feels greasy and nasty um, so what we'll have to do is uh, give it a clean up and see what we've got here then we can uh, try fitting the new handle I picked up from a boot sale the other, the other week. Righty, so first of all I think I'm going to give it a wipe down with some, um, I think this is white spirits. As you can see, look at the filth coming off it guys already. Let's see what we can do. God, it's disgusting. Right, let's take a post solvent look at the head. I still can't make out this right in here. I don't know what that means yet. Um, solid cast steel, it says on this side of things. Um, there's definitely a number in here. Definitely a number just there, guys. Um, what I'm going to have to do is get the uh, a wire brush in my drill, and we'll give it a go over with that and see what we can what we can uh, achieve. Hopefully clean it up a bit better than this. Now so we will, we will be uh, dealing with a wire brush, namely this one here. Uh, we'll need some eye protection. Right, let's take a look at it now we've cleaned it up with the wire brush it's a bit shinier looks a bit better what does it say on here I'm sure it says 20 something ounces or something it's a bit worn away right on the other side yeah solid cast steel and um, I don't know what this says yet but we'll find out later on it has cleaned up fairly well hasn't it guys it's not too bad at all Face, faces don't look too bad, nice and shiny. Okay, wonder if we can get that a bit cleaner, possibly. Right then, now I've cleaned it up a little bit, we can definitely see solid cast steel here, uh, and the manufacturer's name, Buck and Hickman by the looks of things. And over this side, well, I'm still not sure about that, but I would say that's probably 27 point something ounces, I would have said. It's pretty worn away, as you can see. 
but we'll have to do is get uh, Mrs Rathbone scales down here and have a look. Um, we've still got this S in a diamond just here too. Um, it's cleaning up quite nicely now guys, I don't know what else I can do to it, I haven't got a, a belt sander or anything, so it would be quite a lot of hard work if I was to carry on, but um, I think you'll agree it's coming round quite nicely now. Okay, so what do the scales say then? Let's pop it on there. Two pounds and six and a quarter ounces. Right, let's take a look at the old handle here. Long and thin. I'm not even sure if it's the original handle or not really. Uh, it could have been some, somebody put on years ago, I don't know. Uh, the one I got from the boot sale is more or less the same size. I don't think it's obviously designed for the hammerhead, but it's the same sort of thickness as you can see. And um, I think it's going to be a fairly tight fit at this end. We're going to have to cut it down because I really want the hammer to be this length again, really. So what we'll have to do is see if we can get this um, handle into the head. Let's give it a quick go, guys. All right, so it goes in. It's very loose. It goes into here, and then it starts to seriously get quite tight. So what I'll have to do is see if we can uh, whack it in a little bit and see what we can do. Got myself a rubber mallet here, so we'll give it a tap, see how we get on. How does that compare with the length of the original handle? Yep, I'm going to say that's just about good enough for me. So uh, what we'll do is, we'll get my pencil, mark it off about here somewhere. Um, and get a saw on it. Right, let's just scrape away the old um, varnish that's on this handle here. Okay, this will allow me to get some linseed oil in here, get some linseed oil soaking in. Um, so it you know, swells out a little bit. And the other thing I'm going to do, um, I'm going to uh, hacksaw a slot this away, um, like so, so that I can put a, a wedge in here to drive it apart like this to make it fit the head better. Right, and let's get a little bit of um, oiled linseed oil into the uh, top of the handle in if we can. This stuff is quite old, don't know if it's going to be any good or not. We'll get it in there, get quite a bit of it on there actually, to be honest with you guys. Get it back into the uh, head, like so. It's not a very tight fit at the moment, but um, I'm hoping that when we drive a wedge in here, it's going to tighten it up no end. Right, and in the end of what's left of the handle, there is a little uh, wedge, so I'm going to see if I can't rescue that. Get it out of there, because we can probably use that later on. Okay, so there's the wedge. Looks all right to me, just a little bit rusty, but uh, other than that, looks fine. Let's get this split in half. We're going to need this to make the uh, wedge. Okay, I think that'll get in there quite nicely now. Right, then what we'll do now is we'll put a goodly amount of uh, wood glue on the wedge so it stays in, hopefully. Get a load of it on there, much as possible really. Okay, here we go. Glue going everywhere by the looks of it. So we can get the old uh, wedge going into the slot 
like so. Let's see what we can do. Okay then, so I finally got the wedge driven in. Just clear off the uh, excess glue here. And then we'll have to leave it um, overnight for the glue to set. And then we'll come and have a look at it tomorrow morning. All right then guys, so here we are the following morning. <coughs> Feels like it's uh, the wedge is stuck in there quite nicely. So uh, what I'll do, I'll get a hacksaw down and we'll chop it off. So now what I'll do is I get a file on it and file it down quite nicely, so it's more or less sort of level with the top of the uh, hammer head here. Okay, so I think I'm uh, quite happy with this now, guys. I'm just going to uh, tidy this little bit here up and then I'm going to call it finished and we'll get the other wedge put in. Alright, and so apart from this little bit of the uh, wedge sticking out just here, um, I'm quite happy with this now. So all that remains to do I think is to get the, um, the little metal wedge put in and I'm going to put it in at this angle like that there, 90 degrees to the uh, wooden wedge. Right, let's take a look at the uh, a little wooden wedge here. Um, it's a little bit rusty, might just clean that up a little bit and then we'll uh, get it in there. And it looks like it's got England stamped on it as well. We'll get it cleaned up. It does actually have England and number two all right then, so can we get it started in there without whacking my fingers? Let's have a look. Well, yes, I did get it in there, but unfortunately it split the handle sideways as well, so we'll uh, have to see what we can do about that. This is the first time I've put a shaft, a new shaft onto a hammer, so I'm um, not really surprised it's not gone uh, the way I wanted it to. So I suppose we'll have to make up some little, um, little wedges just to fill these bits out then. Okay, so what do you think then? Looks quite nice now, doesn't it? It's not bad for a, um, you know, the first time I've ever fitted a uh, shaft onto a hammer. Uh, it's a lot better now. You, know, you can actually use it safely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bit more um, with linseed oil into the top here. quite a bit of it too, get it to soak in. There we go, I've given it a good soak. I just got to mop off the excess off the head here and um, I'm going to call this finished. 
All right then, so I'm quite happy with this now. Um, what I'm going to have to do is spend a few days just um, adding linseed oil into the uh, top of the handle here as it soaks in. Um, it should uh, help it to uh, stay in the head this time. Um, as you can see, it actually um, it doesn't wobble anymore. It's actually held in there quite firmly. I don't think it's the uh, proper handle for the job, but it's ideal for what I want and it's a lot better than this here which is going in the bin but yeah there we go so now I've got a useful hammer that I can actually use without fear of the head falling off and clapping me on the foot or in the head or something all right then guys so there we are a little bit of a renovation on an old Buck and Hickman uh, lump hammer here I don't know how old this thing is probably fairly so uh, I don't even know if it was owned by my late parents-in-law or whether it was uh, owned by the people before my mother-in-law bought it. There was quite a few interesting old tools in the garage, uh, this being one of them. As I say, it actually um, I can actually use this now. It's actually, uh, well I'm quite happy with the job. Uh, I dare say it's probably not the best hammer renovation you guys have seen, but never mind, I've quite enjoyed it. Um, if you've got any tips or you know suggestions and how you would have done it I'd be uh, quite pleased to hear them all right then guys well thanks for popping over thanks for taking a look I hope you enjoyed it and um, well basically I'll catch you again later